Hi, Finish Gem here. Welcome back to another video and let's get started. We're going to be going over four of the best shoulder workouts that you got to put into your workout because they're amazing. Your shoulders are just going to be obliterated once you do them and try them out. I've been testing out a lot of shoulder exercises, a lot of different ones, and these ones are by far my favorite ones to do. It's never going to hurt to implement these into your workout. Whether you're doing shoulders once a week or you're doing them three times a week, I definitely recommend you add this into your workout once just to see how it goes. All of these exercises together are going to target your front delt, your lateral delt, and your rear delt. It targets all three of them equally. So if you're lagging one muscle, then you're probably going to have to do more of a certain exercise. For example, I'm lagging in my rear delts, so I do more of the rear delt portion of it. You can hit these in any way you want. You can choose whatever order you want to do. You can do as many sets and as many reps as you want. As long as you're putting in work, I promise you, you'll definitely feel something and you'll definitely be sore after you try this workout. Before you start your shoulder workout, you're going to want to do some warm-ups. Get your favorite band, and then here's what you're going to do. You're just going to bring your arms out like this. If you want a little bit more tension, you can get a, a more... a higher resistant band, or you can just grab more in the middle of the band and... There you go, you got more tension. So just do these. Usually do 10 reps. And then you can do them over your head too. And then you can just step on the band with one foot and then you can just do a... Don't forget to do the other arm. So that was your internal rotator cuff. Now let's do the external rotator cuff. Get your band like this. In this workout, we're gonna start with six-way lateral raises. I choose this six-way lateral raise to be the very first exercise because it kind of warms up your muscles. Six-way lateral raise is a lateral raise. And you bring that lateral raise into the middle and then you bring up a front raise, you come back down and then you go back to the lateral raise and then you finish it off. So all together, that's six reps right there. Three, four, five, six. It's gonna look funny, you're gonna look like a cheerleader, but that cheerleader is gonna have some bolder shoulders. If you wanna target your rear delts more, you can lean just a little bit forward when you're starting off that lateral raise. If you're really lagging your lateral delts, you can do the six-way lateral raise to failure and then just finish off a lateral raise. Do my two step. This shoulder workout leads you to so many possibilities to doing supersets and different types of exercises. It's unbelievable and it's amazing. You're gonna love it. Next, we're gonna do some reverse grip Arnold presses. Basically just like an Arnold press, except you're gonna be doing them with your reverse grip. And then make sure you bring them all the way down to your side. This exercise is gonna target your front delts more than anything. When you're doing these, make sure that you're bringing your elbow to a full extension. Make sure that you're completely locking out your elbows when you do these. Cause you don't wanna be that guy that's just half repping it. You want to look like the guy extension. on the, the hack squat that's just half repping. The fuller range of motion, the more hypertrophy you're adding into your exercise. So make sure that you're always doing full range of motion. Go nice and slow when you're doing these. These exercises are going to hit you like a truck, so make sure that you start out nice and light. Whenever you're doing a new exercise, make sure that you're going light regardless. If you start out super heavy, if you start throwing 35 pounds onto each exercise, you're probably going to blow your shoulder. And you don't want that. Just go nice and light. I promise you, this exercise will absolutely obliterate your shoulders and make them super burned in a good way. Right after you're done with those Arnold presses, you can do a bent 90 degree arm lateral raise. And you can just burn out really heavy. Your arm's gonna be bent at a 90 degree and then you're just gonna do your lateral raise. You can just burn out on reps right after your Arnold versus Arnold presses, or you can do them um, Arnold press to lateral raise, to Arnold press to lateral raise, uh, whatever you want to do. Just make sure that you switch it up a little bit, just so you can hit those micro muscles a little bit differently every time. You're going to love this next one, guys. This is a one-arm dumbbell lateral raise with a resistance band, and then once you burn out, you drop that resistance band and you keep going. 
You can hit all three heads of your delt doing this. You can hit your front delt, your lateral delt, and your rear delt. You're basically doing one set and then you're just doing a drop set right after that. Do my two step. When you're doing the band technique, make sure you take off, make sure you take off the carabiner and the handle and make sure you're not wearing these shoes or you're not barefoot because it's going to hurt when you let go of the band. It's going to snap your foot. Oh, this is so bright. Next is gonna be lateral raises with one dumbbell. You're gonna be squeezing both of the heads of the dumbbell. It's gonna be very straightforward. You're just gonna be doing a lateral raise while you're holding on to each head of the dumbbell. With this exercise, you can really practice your mind-muscle connection with it. Just make sure that you're not tall and you're not doing it in your basement or else you're probably gonna smack your ceiling. When you're doing the dumbbell head squeeze, make sure that you're pushing the dumbbell in like this while you're doing it too for extra mind muscle connection and as always thanks for watching make sure you subscribe i'll see you in the next video